We have seen almost 70 protests around the country in the last month, anti-immigration protests. There is now a growing concern about the rise of the far right. We've seen uh, another assault on a refugee. The the protests are now being policed with uh, public order units, armed response units, the police, you know, the guard, the helicopter. Things have changed and shifted and the housing and accommodation crisis is contributing in large part to, to an anti-immigration sentiment that has been described today by Ursula von der Leyen as hardening throughout Europe, but particularly we can see it here in Ireland. I mean, are you concerned about the impact housing is having on, on perhaps potential sinister forces in our political system growing in number? Well, I think first and foremost, Kira, that like what I saw in Finglas this week and I've seen across the country with some of the protests have to be condemned yeah. uh, outright. Um, like people have a right to protest and have their view even if I don't share their view they don't have a right to intimidate people uh, they don't have a right to bully people and some of the um, activity that we've seen is reprehensible and I actually don't think with the far right within it and others who are agitators within it mm-hmm. that there's anything really to do with any crisis I think it's really hitching their wagon uh, to you believe the issue is being image. hijacked yeah, I do. And there are genuine people too. Uh, you know, there are genuine people that have genuine concerns and communication in some instances needs to be better. And we recognise that in government and we're going to do that. Um, and like communities have done okay. a lot. But, Would you, you favour, Minister, the idea of exclusion zones ar- around um, people's homes, I suppose, where, where they're staying, that, that these residential centres that are yeah. being used? It's a complicated matter. OK, what I'd say to people is that you know, regardless of one's view on this, is that we've kids, we've families who are fleeing awful situations. And if you can imagine to put yourself in the in the mind of a child. No, no, I, uh, I, I absolutely you, you know, accept and, and that's that. what people, I know you, uh, and in fairness, I, I, I know you get that, and 99% of your listeners do as well. But those who are protesting need to have a, have a think again uh, about what they're doing. If they want to protest, protest outside the doll. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we and that, that is the place where most people do it. Your message can be heard. You know, it, it, it'll be respected if it's done respectfully. Uh, we don't have to agree with it, and we're going to continue. Uh, what we need to do as a country is to help those who need our help, and we should know as a, as, as a society through our history. Uh, I, and and there is an irony in that. You're, you're not wrong. Well, there is. La, la, lastly, on the yeah. refugee aspect of all of this, but would a czar help? You know, this, this call for a czar to, to, I suppose, integrate your ministry, Roderick O'Gorman's ministry. Into, you know, I know we have a minister for integration, but, but, but somebody overseeing and pulling together all the threads in maybe some kind of uh, coordinated fashion. Would that be helpful in your view? Well, look, we meet regularly. We met this week and Roderick and I and other relevant departments talk on a daily basis. We've done more work, work on the local authority side to see how we can help, you know, um, the provision of accommodation and, and expedite that. And we're doing that at the moment. Uh, look, the, the structure, like the Taoiseach Tánis, the Minister Ryan, myself and Roderick and, and relevant ministers meet and talk on a daily basis. All right. So, and, so I think uh, you're saying, in effect, probably not.